should give it away somewhere and run it up. You try to fall in love. Did you bring all of your friends and let's fuck it up? You guys, what's up? What's up? I am back. Your girl is back. First of all, happy new year. I haven't talked to any of y'all since October. It is now February. This is the last day of February. Oh my gosh. Happy new year, everybody. Hope everybody is safe and happy and prospering in one way or another. I hope you guys have entered into a new season. We are basically three months into the new year. I hope that you guys have started something brand new or you know practice getting out some of them old habits and switching them out for some new ones some better ones to make your lives easier and better and you know all that all that good stuff so yeah your girl's back i'm here today doing a amazon wig install so right here i'm installing a wig by blue serena hair i'm going to make sure that i link everything down in the description box Right here, you guys just see me trying to create a Cupid's bow. Um, I prefer these over like a regular straight hairline. I don't know. It just kind of does something for me. So yeah, I carve out two ends. I take my comb and my hot comb. I press it and then I take my uh, shear or my razor and I just shave off that piece. You're basically just creating an M shape on both sides of the hairline. And then you're just going to shave it off and boom, Cupid's bow. And just like when you're plucking, you want to cut less in the beginning and you know work your way up you don't just want to cut 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 because then you're going to bald your whole frontal and that doesn't make no sense so the glue that i'm using is called bougie girl slade this is by girl in my city in new york her name is Brittany, and her glue is phenomenal like the hold on this is scary like it's so strong it is so strong only way your laces are lifting is if you playing with it too much with a comb or you swimming your whole frontal and mousse and all type of stuff but like this glue is gluing like i'm telling you Personally, nowadays, I just be using my finger to apply my glue because I don't even care. Like, I just feel like, for me, I have very clean install. Anytime I do an install, I keep a rag next to me with some um, alcohol. So, for me, I can just keep on wiping off my finger. It doesn't really bother me, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I just do dots all over my hairline and I smooth it out till it's super, super thin. That's the next thing when you're using your finger, you can feel it because it's like so thin. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people, they don't like to do it because, you know, the oil's on your finger and da 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 But I don't keep my wigs on for that long. So for me, it really doesn't, like, bother me too long. If I wanted a super long install, I would use a comb. But I only really keep it on for, like, three, four days and I take it off. So, you know, it doesn't even bother me. Um, I'm going to cut off my ear tabs, the sides. So when I'm gluing down a the wig, they're not in the way. And I already put the makeup on my lace. I use the RDF level 17, I believe. Once you position your wig to how you want it to be, you're going to just press it in really, really good. I use my comb to help that process out even more. Um, when you're pressing in your wig, keep in mind you want to use your hands first. Press it in for like at least 20 seconds. That's going to make sure your hold is extra, extra secure. And then I'm just going to cut slits in my lace before I go and cut it off. I use the scissor to cut the slits and then the razor to actually cut the lace off. And I get as close to the hairline as possible so it looks super, super natural. Now I'm going to take that same makeup shade that I put under my lace and put it on top of my lace to kind of get rid of that white cast. Okay. She also sells a um, lace melting spray, so I'm going to also use that on top of my lace and probably just like one more spray.
today my hairstylist i'm going for like a a deep side part so when you're t doing this take your time make sure you're carving out a very nice c shape you know i take my time i don't rush this part at all you know what i'm saying make sure it's sitting where you want it to sit me i already know i'm going in with baby hair so i'm keeping these little things in mind how deep it needs to be so it flows with the baby hairs and all that stuff And now I'm pulling on my baby hairs. When you're doing wig installs, I'm I'm sorry, but I know there's still a lot of ladies out here who really believe you can't do it without a hot comb. I don't know how you're gonna get a flat install without a hot comb. Like, and I tried for so long, but my wigs was not ever getting natural. They always look super bulky, or like I, they were very product heavy because you have to put so much products in it. When if you had a hot comb and you had some heat, it would just do more you know what i'm saying it would do the job for you you need that wax stick you need a, a, a mousse you need a hot comb period like there's no getting around it i tried i did and it ain't never worked it ain't never worked so it ain't gonna work this wig was phenomenal though like i didn't need to sit here for hours getting it to press out and get flat and everything like no i bleached the knots plucked it let it air dry and then the next day i came into this install and it was actually flawless um i loved how i didn't really need to spend too long on the top like i hate like when i'm doing my wigs and i have to take mad long to hot comb the wig like i'd be like why is it taking this long you know what i'm saying but this wig was very very easy to get it as flat as possible i know i have it sped up but i really was not here all day like you know customizing the top and whatever if anything i probably spent the most time just getting it like this flat iron it because i don't know i like my wigs to be like positioned a certain way when i flat iron it and sometimes i'd be like all right i'm gonna bump it and i'll take out the bump and then it takes me mad long so yeah here i'm using my um fantasia spray it already has like a beautiful luster to it but i just like that extra shine if you know you know y'all already know y'all already know and yeah now i'm just going in to press it out and yeah y'all can just watch me press it out i'm, I'm so talking now So me personally, when I do my installs, I typically let the lace melt at least two times, like at least two times. So I put, this is after I put the makeup on, um, I blow dried it and then I put my band on and then I took it off, took out one more baby hair and I think it still kind of has like a little white cast. So I just, yeah, it just needs to melt again. So. So now I'm just gonna cut my baby hairs and I typically cut long and if I need to cut shorter then I cut shorter but typically cut long in the beginning. Then I'm gonna take my pencil flat iron, I'm curling upwards, I'm curling towards my face. Like I'm I'm curling them as if I'm trying to make the letter U. You know what I mean? As if I'm trying to make the letter U. If that makes sense. Um yeah, or an upside down C basically i'm trying to make an upside down c so i'm going to curl upwards see that upside down c exactly look at that Now, to style my baby hairs, I'm going to use mousse and got to be gel from the black bottle. Um, me, personally, I like I don't like having to fix my baby hairs. Like, 
I really don't. I really, really don't. Like, I'd I be over it. After I do this whole install and all this stuff with the video, I'd be over it. Like, I just want my, my install to just last the whole style, everything to just last. I don't, I don't really feel like fixing it throughout the week or nothing like that. And I do the baby hair. I mold it piece by piece. And then I use the blow dryer. And then I go and do the last piece of it. Like, I just take my time. So, yeah. And then when I, once I get the last piece, I use the blow dryer or a hot comb and just... Yeah. Okay, so this is the final look. Um, I've been wearing this now for a few days, but it's still like super soft. I just pressed it out and I literally only put boom and boom. Actually, I'm lying. I literally only put this the Fantasia Heat Protecting Spray. I've been wearing this unit since Friday. Today is now Tuesday. Um, I adhered it with the glue. You guys saw that whole process. Um, for like two nights straight, I did not tie it down, but the glue. Really, 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 really good. But yeah, this is an Amazon wig. I've been talking all this stuff about these Amazon units. You need to get this one. I'm gonna make sure that I have the link for it down in the description box. Um, what I really liked about it was that me personally, I'm going to over what people would consider over pluck. I don't over pluck so it's bold. I over pluck so I'm comfortable with how it looks and so it looks like my natural hairline. My natural hairline thins to like at least this far back. It thins a little bit by my hairline area. So that's what I like for my units to mimic. Um, but yeah, this is 10 inches, but I'm very short. So it actually comes down a little bit like, you know, like swifting over my shoulder, sort of, you know, so to speak. But yeah, that's how it came out. So, and I usually cut my bobs to be like right up at my shoulder, but this one I think I'm gonna leave it as is. And I only like lightly bump the ends, but yeah guys into the unit was on like what 70 dollars or less from amazon it came in like three days while i was at work and yeah all i did was i will say though the knots were pretty big the knots were huge i had to bleach it at least two times every time i bleach this unit because when you get like wigs that have really thick knots you have to bleach it for at least an hour or a little more like you can keep checking it and as i kept checking it i kept seeing that the knots were still very very visible and big so i didn't rinse it yet so um, but you don't want to let it sit for no two hours and nothing crazy like that. 
let it go for like an hour and 15. If it's still big, rinse it, let it dry, and then you can bleach the knots again. You don't want to rinse it and then go um, bleach it again because with the water, A, it's not going to process because there's water on it, and then B, if it, even if it does process, it's going to bleed through. The bleach is going to bleed through because now it's wet, you know? So, yeah, and then when I toned it, I toned it with, um, I toned it with blue shampoo if I'm not mistaken. Well, here's the thing. If you're trying to get orange to cancel, you need blue shampoo. If you're trying to get blonde to cancel, you need purple shampoo. So it honestly just depends. If you bleach your units and then your knots come out, like if you bleach your knots, right? And your knots come out like yellowish brassiness, then you need purple shampoo. If you bleach your units and then they look orange, then you need, wait, wait. If you bleach and your knots look blonde, you need purple. And if you bleach and your knots look orange you need blue yeah that's the right that's what you need that's what you need to do so um i don't exactly remember i don't want to tell you guys i did one thing and i really did another but like i said i bleached it two times so what happened in the first processing um as soon as i finished bleaching it the first time i rinsed it but then i toned it with blue shampoo so the second time i could have used purple but i don't fully remember i did not even record that part so i don't want to sit here and lie this is how it looks in the back lengthwise this is where it falls on me but yeah so i love this cement and i'm definitely gonna be shopping with this brand again for like a short you know like a short unit i don't believe this company at the moment is selling curly units but um i would still just recommend them because this is very beginner friendly so yeah guys thanks for watching this video make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and give this video a huge thumbs up if this type of content that you really like um you know install videos and look at how to look you know really cute on a budget you know what i'm saying this video this video i ended up spending in total i'll probably say like aside from the wig because the wig was like what 60 dollars or something like that for the hairspray um the band every every little thing i don't think i spent more than like 40 dollars to make this video to get the products to do this unit 40 dollars and the wig 60 or 100 dollars and you can wear this this dude is probably gonna last at least um like two years or more simply because like even if you trim it, it's still gonna have that same. The thing about bottles, even after you keep trimming it, it still has like the same smell. It's not gonna be stiff, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. It's gonna be broke though. Alright, guys, thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned. I'm gonna be posting a whole lot of more videos. I haven't posted in so long, but I'm gonna be posting. I'm gonna be posting. I promise. I promise. I'm gonna be posting.
Thank you.